minutes south of Ocala and less than an hour drive northwest of Orlando, you'll find the largest active retirement community in America. Covering an area larger than Manhattan, the Villages continues to be one of the fastest growing places in the nation. Just off Florida's Turnpike is one of the newest master plan developments here in the Villages. The centerpiece, the community hub, is what you see behind me, the market at Sawgrass Grove. This food hall and entertainment venue just opened a couple of days ago. While it's still a work in progress, most of the eateries are already open and there's even a place where you can purchase locally grown produce. I'm so excited. We're here for the market's first weekend of operation and can't wait to show you what it's like inside. The market at Sawgrass Grove, straight ahead. Like we said, the market is opening in phases. Behind the fence is an outdoor entertainment area with a stage for live music performances. On the other side of the courtyard is McGrady's Pub and Kitchen. This new restaurant has a Scottish theme throughout with many authentic dishes to match. Also on property, a putting course and a recreation complex. But what we came here to see, what everyone is buzzing about is the new food hall. Let's go in and take a look around. What do you think? It's pretty impressive. It's got a really sweet vibe as soon as you walk in the door. This shows the layout of the market's interior. You'll notice the eatery surround a large open community gathering space with lots of places to sit and get to know your neighbors. Sawgrass Bar is in the middle, making it really convenient to pick up a drink to go along with whatever food option you select. This food hall is fairly modest in size. There's a coffee shop, a sweet shop, a place to grab a burger or a pizza, and a stand selling locally grown produce. A seafood shack, a butcher shop, and teaching kitchen are planning to open soon. Before Abby and I go around and sample some of the food, let's take a closer look at some of the design details of the market itself. Right away, it's bright, it's airy, it's welcoming. Warm hues mixed with brick and wood textures to create a sophisticated modern look. Some elements are raw and rustic, and I especially like the variety of lighting fixtures. My favorite is the window wall that separates the teaching kitchen from the main space. Very creative. I really want one of these in the living room. Now let's get started sampling some of the food. This bag of popcorn is one of the cheapest snacks you can get here at the market. The Village's Grown pops their own popcorn. It tastes like movie theater popcorn, but even better. And it's only 50 cents. This is a really great option earlier in the day when you're waiting on a lot of the food vendors to open. Willie's Original is a concept out of Orlando with a popular location at Gatlin Hall Brewing. Looks like it's going to be a perfect fit here at the market. Taking a look at the menu, Willie's is known for its classic smash burger, but they also have a variety of chicken sandwiches and a jumbo beef hot dog along with a chopped salad. Price-wise, very reasonable, everything on the menu under 15 bucks. I ordered the All-American, a double-stack Angus burger topped with American cheese, pickle, and Willie's burger sauce. We have been a lot of places, and we've always tried signature sauces. I'm usually not the biggest fan of signature sauces, but this sauce that's on this burger, the Willie's sauce, 
It just has a nice, fresh flavor. It goes really well with the hamburger and the pickles. It just ties it all together. The side of crispy fries with Parmesan and rosemary came in at $4.50. We also got the crispy cheese curds with the tomato basil sauce. Those are really good. Nice crunch, cheese in the middle, can't go wrong. We've now made our way over to Frenchie's Wood Fired. Each pizza here is made to order with the freshest of ingredients and baked in a giant wood fired oven. We ordered the Roni for $15. It's a pie with my favorite type of pepperoni, cup and char. The Village's Grown was born out of a desire to provide residents and the surrounding community with hyper-fresh, nutrient-dense food to support healthy, active lifestyles. So I made it with a little bit of an Italian twist. I used the hemp Italian seasoning, and it's the heirloom tomato, it's an onion, a cucumber. Isn't it wonderful? To learn more about the village's grown produce, visit their website. We also have a link at chadgallivanter.com. This is the first and only location so far for Darlin's Sweet Shop, the brainchild of Estelle Krasinski. The opportunity came to me to have this spot in the market and I'm like, hell yeah, this place is so cool. It's so unique for that area and patrons seem to be loving it and I'm right across from the bar, so it's perfect for once we close up. One of our lesser known products is actually our handcrafted pints. So what we do is we use the Darlin's baked goods and then we'll chop them up and I hand mix them with ice cream and then I keep them super cold. I have this freezer that'll keep them like negative 15 to negative 20. So that way you can take them on your golf cart ride home, your car ride home, whatever, and then we'll melt, become a soupy mess. And then it's so nice because we'll just have like a vanilla ice cream mixed in with our caramel brownie cheesecake or like something fun and different. And it's like a unique flavor that's just custom to Darlin's. You can find out more about Darlin's by visiting their Facebook page. I've been a big fan of Frank Garofalo and his Golden Hills Coffee for several years now, ever since I discovered the company's Florida Cold Brew Coffee. Frank and his team have outdone themselves with this newest location that sells bagels early in the morning and hot coffee well into the afternoon. We have a link to Golden Hills Coffee on our website. One final thing to mention, and that's the Southern Oaks Golf Shop. A nice selection of gear inside for amateurs and pros alike. As for the operating hours of the individual businesses, they're a little all over the place. Golden Hills Coffee Roasters opens at 7 a.m. and closes at 4. But most of the food places open around noon and close at 8. Like we always suggest, check out the market's social media for up-to-date information. That's gonna do it. A quick look inside the new market at Sawgrass Grove in the Villages. Let us know your thoughts about this unique food hall in the comments below. Do you enjoy this type of content? We'd love to have you sign up for our newsletter, Gallivanter 75, where we provide quick tips and photos from some of our favorite places. Sign up now at our website, chadgallivanter.com. As always, thank you for watching. Had a great time today here at Sawgrass Grove. Fantastic food, even better people. You need to come and check this place out here in the villages. From Central Florida, see you next time.